everyone, today I'm going to talk about teeth whitening. Now one thing a lot of us have in common is whether it be for a special event or just for every day, a lot of us just want whiter teeth. As most of us know, it can be quite expensive to go to the dentist for teeth whitening treatments. While there are lots of at-home kits out there that we can use, and those use the same active ingredients as the dentist does, however just in a lower concentration because the dentist uses a higher concentration but they also use protective measures to make sure that your gums don't get exposed to the chemicals as much. Since there's a lower concentration of the bleaching ingredient in these at-home kits, it'll probably take a little bit longer for you to see the whitening results. Some of these at-home kits cost more than others. For example, in the past I used those Crest whitening strips and I think at the time that I purchased them, it, I was getting the five minute ones and I think the box was $60, which I thought was quite expensive. The whitening strips did work well for me, but I didn't really want to keep buying this expensive box of whitening strips. And then I found out about a cheaper alternative with the same purpose. So this is the 5 minute whitening by Natural White, and this was only $10 from Walmart. And I'm sure other pharmacies and drugstores carry it as well, but it comes with a one size fits all tray, and this peroxide gel, and a mouth rinse to use afterwards. On the package it says to use the kit twice a day for seven days, five minutes each session. However, what I would do is leave the tray on for about 15 minutes and probably do it about three times, not all in one day, maybe three consecutive days, and my teeth would be pretty white. I was not aiming for perfectly white teeth. I find that super bright white teeth look kind of fake and I was not going for the fake look. When my adult teeth started coming in when I was younger, they were quite yellow because I had taken antibiotics when I was very, very young. So that did likely stain my new teeth coming in. And then ever since I got them to that desired whiteness, I just maintained that Every six months I just do a couple more treatments to make sure that they stay white and to cancel out any additional staining that I might have caused. Things that make your teeth go yellow are tetracycline and possibly other antibiotics, coffee, tea, cola drinks, and there's a few other things too. I'll post the links below of different articles that I was reading about this subject. Sometimes if you have really deep staining, using these at-home kits can only work so much and they won't make your teeth completely white. For example, my dad has staining on two of his teeth from tetracycline and he can't completely remove those stains. So if he wanted to get rid of that staining, he probably would have to go to a dentist to get that done. Dentists also have the ability to whiten your teeth using UV light. However, my teeth were quite yellow and I was also on antibiotics when I was little, but mine were not as severe as his were, so I was able to correct them with just one of these at-home kits. I hope that you found this video informative and helpful. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you did. I'd be curious to know what different techniques that you guys have used for whitening your teeth, so make sure to leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see new videos every week, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.